Okay, I'm ready. Okay. You're ready? Okay. They're a little bit, if you could uh, repeat my question a little bit in your answer. Please. Yes. Yes. Um, what do you think of the Congress? So far, I'm very impressed by the Congress. Um, I got a chance to meet Neely Cruz this morning, and she walked on stage with my book and mentioned me in her first sentence. So I feel personally very gratified. But she, you know, it was really good to, to meet with her and connect with her about using Twitter. Um, I'd love to see them, I'd love to see her organization you know, using it effectively to reach out to constituents. So, and, and so far, you know, I found the speeches to be of high quality and then folks, the attendees, to be engaged. Um, I'm really impressed how packed it was this morning. Um, and I've seen the conference grow and, and really reach an incredible amount of, of, uh, of attendance actually just the past couple of weeks. And so as a conference organizer, I know how challenging that is and uh, so I'm impressed. Because what exactly were you doing here in Amsterdam today? Uh, so I'm here in Amsterdam to deliver a speech, participate in a panel and also to help moderate a discussion. Um, the speech is on inclusion and so I'm speaking on a topic that I call Tweets Per Capita, which is a little study that I did to find out the total output of messages uh, on the system per country, and then just look at you know, population data and correlate that, see what that tells me. So I'll be debuting that tomorrow. And afternoon, I'm on a panel on mobility, so understanding you know, how iPad and iPhone fit into the picture, what markers there are for success in this technology. Um, and then on Thursday, I'm chairing a panel on e-government, and the, the topic is, hey, Gov, are you listening? And just it's about how to use these tools to engage the people who govern us and start a conversation. So I'm here to just, just participate and to, 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 to be part of the conversation. And um, this is going to be aired tomorrow. Um, would it be possible that you can tell me something about the conclusions of the investigation you did, uh, the sure. research you did? So the research I did was pretty informal. Um, I tried to find a measure that I could use uh, as an on, on an ongoing basis, so I just took a snapshot of one day, 24 hours, uh, a random day, it happened to be a Sunday, when no events were happening, it was just a you know, normal day, uh, and looked at the total number of tweets per country, um, and then looked at it also a year previous. So I was able to see a rate of growth, I was able to see, uh, and then correlate that to population data, and it turns out that Netherlands is number two of the top tweets per capita. Because Netherlands actually is a small amount of people in the country in, in relation to other large output countries. It, not surprisingly, another one, a small country population-wise, uh, at the top, Singapore. Uh, so, so to have the United States be number five in that list was actually interesting to see. Um, behind Singapore, Netherlands, Brazil, and Indonesia. So. I, I don't know what this tells me yet, but it does validate my reason for being here, which is you know, to find a place of the greatest leverage. And it turns out that Netherlands has a very deep penetration of technology per capita, if you look at it from a Twitter perspective. Um, and that actually, to me, says there's a great deal of responsibility that we have here in Holland to take that experience and that, that wealth, actually, and, and provide that to the folks with the lowest tweets per capita, uh, places like Iran, Ethiopia. Um, places, some island nations, even like the Netherlands and Chile's actually. It has a low tweets per capita. So, you know, there's a direct, I think there's a direct responsibility that we have as, as the sort of uh, the highest output countries in terms of uh, the wealth of information and, and to provide that to the rural communities and folks in the greatest need. Okay, and does this mean that there could be uh, headquarters in Amsterdam? I don't know. Twitter headquarters? <laughs> Uh, well, that's up to the team. Uh, I, I know that they are starting to expand into other areas, and I think what they do is they provide text messaging, short codes to other countries, um, and that's that's been their partnership. Um, I think that their headquarters are in San Francisco. They're going to stay in San Francisco, so I, I, I can't speak for the company, but... Uh, How about a European headquarters? I would love that. <laughs> um, but it's not my decision, so I can't say. Um, do you think uh, Amsterdam is a strong IT? city? Uh, clearly, clearly Amsterdam is a strong IT city. Although one thing I'm confused by, um, it would seem this town is perfect for like blanket Wi-Fi. Um, and yet I show up and I've got to pay Wi-Fi in my hotel and i got to pay Wi-Fi to go over here and i got to find this and that. Wouldn't it be amazing if, if this town, this flat town, had amazing Wi-Fi or WiMAX coverage? It would. 